I'm David Jenkins. I'm Dina Whiteside. And we're from the South Carolina Forestry Commission. I'm the Forest Health Coordinator and Dina. I'm the Urban Forester for the Piedmont Region. And we're here to talk about emerald ash borer, a beetle that's impacting our ash trees right now in the upstate, but it's going to eventually move through the whole state. So here in Spartanburg, some of the things you can see is this ash is going to start having epicormic sprouting. And that means that the bark is being interrupted by these borers, and so it's going to put out these sprouts to survive. Um, Dina, you want to show them the sign up here the, where the gallery is? Okay. One thing to uh, look for, well, David kind of hiked in here uh, to expose the, right beneath the bark, you're going to see kind of the S-shaped uh, serpentine galleries, and that's where the larva is right beneath the bark and feeding. Um, the adult insect, um, when it moves on uh, past the larval stage, will come out, exit uh, the trunk, and you'll see a D-shaped hole. Um, and we have a, a good example right here. Um, on this side, you could see more of the D-shaped exit hole. Mm -hmm. So that's when the adult emerges um, and leaves the tree. Um, but this is pretty devastating. Um, we've had it here in South Carolina since 2017. Um, mostly uh, concentrated in the upstate, Spartanburg, uh, Greenville, Oconee, Pickens, um, uh, York. Yep, uh, York. So it's kind of moving its way east. Yeah, um, and east and south. It's kind of. It's actually kind of a nice. Atla it's in Atlanta. I know that's not our state, but that kind of shows you where it is in Georgia. It is right. further south th there in Georgia than it is in, in South Carolina. Um, but as it moves through, you can expect to see ash um, die and it. Uh, here at this preserve, you can see a lot of uh, bare limbs, and those are that's where the bark has been removed from these trees by this beetle, and it's no longer able to transport nutrients uh, down from those leaves and nutrients up, water up, so those, mm -hmm. those limbs will die back. And as these ash trees disappear from our ecosystem, a lot of invasive species like privet um, and Eliagnus, they're gonna move in and take advantage of that. So we're really encouraging uh, people to avoid, uh, we want you to, if you can, remove those invasives and replant uh, some native species that will hold that space and, and kind of keep those invasives out. Mm -hmm. um,